Okay. So by splitting up 285 into 225 and 60, and like I said, we can work on uh, looking at other angles. The main important thing is I just want to determine and say, well, if here's my formula for the sum for the sum formula for sine, sine of u plus b is equal to sine of u times cosine of v plus cosine of u times sine of v. What I'm going to simply do is just label this my u and my v, and now let's just plug them in. So I could say the sine of 225 degrees is equal to the sine of 225 times the cosine of 60 plus the cosine of 225 times the sine of 60. It is 285, but what I did is I rewrote 285 as 225 plus 60. Yes. Uh, yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to write it like this. That's how I meant to write. I just stopped writing the sixty. I didn't write the plus sixty. So this is equal to that. What I did was I took this and I plugged it into my formula. Now I just need to evaluate for two hundred twenty-five and sixty degrees. So let's go and see what that would look like um, from our unit circle. So we find 60 degrees and 225. Well, I know here's 180 degrees. So if I go an extra 45 degrees more, that's going to take me to the point of uh, 225 degrees, which will take me to neg or negative square root of 2 over 2, comma negative square root of 2 over 2. Now remember, the cosine of theta is equal to your x coordinate. and Sine of theta is equal to your y coordinate. Now let's go ahead and find 60 degrees, which is going to be up here. And 60 degrees has a coordinate of 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Right? OK. So now if I know that sine of 225, that's equaling to the y coordinate. So the y coordinate here is negative square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 60 degrees is my x coordinate of 60 degrees, which is 1 half plus the x coordinate of 225 degrees is a negative square root of 2 over 2. And then the y coordinate of my 60 degrees, which is square root of 3 over 2. Now what I'm going to do is multiply across. Okay. Then what I can do is I, um, I'll just rewrite this as a negative square root of 2 over 4 minus the square root of 6 over 4. And then what I notice is they both have a common factor of, of a negative square root of 2 over 4. So I have negative square root of 2 over 4 factored out 1 plus square root of 3. Same? Awesome.